Up next, we've got a little more buzz of what's to come from the world of comics. Hey, welcome back, True Believers. I'm Devin Curry with Shazap.com, your online source for comic book news and reviews. Today, we're going to talk about some of the buzz that's coming from the comic book industry. Now, Stan Lee's company, POW Entertainment, announced that they will be partnering with Brighton Partners and Rainmaker Entertainment to release a new superhero property called Legion of Five. The CG animated characters will be involved in a complete media blitzkrieg, crossing over into every form, including CG animated films, games, online and mobile releases, as well as merchandising. No details to this, as to the story have been released yet. Now, Stan the Man and POW, which stands for Purveyors of Wonder, also have three projects in development at Disney. Nick Ratchet, A Private Eye, Blaze, An Action Adventure Story, and Tigress, about a woman with tiger-like instincts and abilities. Now, for more information, you can visit the POW website. It's fairly new, and so a lot of the info is still coming out, but you'll be able to get the idea. In the world of live-action features, DreamWorks has optioned the rights for Atlantis Rising from Platinum Studios Comic Books. The live action feature is adapted from the five book miniseries written by Scott O. Brown and drawn by Tim Irwin and Andy Elder, in which an underwater civilization is discovered at the bottom of the ocean. They attack the surface dwellers from some you know, alien invasion type action, but from the opposite direction. The series first hit shelves in November, and the final issue is scheduled to be out at the end of April. Now, if you're one of those people who likes to say you were into it when, start hunting for those back issues now. Thanks for tuning in, True Believers. I'm Devin Curry for Zap.com, and we'll see you next time. I'm